Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Danganronpa. We're finally about to get into the investigation of Saika's corpse. Very clearly the handle that that was on the sword was missing a lot of, uh, of the gold glitter that it had. And now that's the first thing I want to check as soon as we get this started. If even her hands are clean, that means she didn't use the sword. This is just a fair warning. When I take off this, there will be a girl with a stab wound with blood everywhere. So that bothers you uh fair warning and i'll hopefully have made sure to put a fair warning on that as well because i know some people aren't particularly comfortable with that but we'll go ahead and go on with this so all right first things first yeah so it looks like let's check here i told myself i simply couldn't face what i saw but now's no time to think like that pulled out the monokuma file to verify what it said about her body some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach that must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. That's right, we have to find out where this kitchen knife came from. Notice that it's a kitchen knife, specifically a chef's knife, probably an 18, or, uh, 8 inch. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saika's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. And also there's some gold on it. There's something sort of glittery right there on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palm of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Saika's wrist had been added to the truth bullet section of the thing. Okay, so the stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom where they inflicted the deadly wound. Hmm. Uh, what else are you gonna let me investigate? Oh, the words behind her, right. I looked past Saika to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Oh, what does it say? Written in blood is the number... Numbers 11037. Probably some sort of clothing? If not clothing number, then maybe something else. Did Saika do this? 11037. What else is there? Um... I looked past Saika to the wall behind her, and there I saw, written in blood, was the number 11037. Now the knife. Okay. Okay, so let's just go ahead and skip all this. Yes, we... So very clearly she'd been hit. Yeah, okay. Okay, come on. I've... You're just... You're punishing me for checking. Okay. So very clearly out of what I can already see, um, there's the shower head. Okay, yeah, so I guess we'll check the shower head. The water from, for the showers gets turned off at nighttime. Oh, thanks, dude. This is great. Okay, so what? You're, that's it? Are you serious? This is all I can check? Wow. Okay, then. So it looks like the game's pissing me off already, because I wanted to check her wrist. Um, it looks like you found it. Right, Makoto? The bloody numbers? That's most likely Saika's dying message. So, I've never seen something written in blood before really as was her final message it's as if she wrote it with life itself right. do you often talk like an aspiring poet but the numbers she wrote what do they mean 11037 i have no idea what that could possibly mean so... <clears throat> the way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them if she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall if you were to write something in that position do you know what the results would be the result well think about it you're not going to tell me, but you need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. So, if you're writing it, so it's 73011. Okay, that's what it means. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Saika's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how, how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame. Oh, right, that's true. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. Did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. 
Huh? The doorknob. The doorknob is completely off. It's just been twisted completely off. What, what the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone who doesn't know the trick. Someone must have used a screwdriver or something to similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought, and apparently stuck with the sudden realization she shot a question just at. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. you. mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, I did tell Saika about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Saika knew about it. Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. And that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Well, see you later. So, as if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. It looks as if someone had used a screwdriver, right? That's how you described it. Still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Psyche got. Psyche dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in the video. And on top of that, I'm sure there's some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Um, are we- Are you kidding me? Very clearly, the sheath was used to hit her. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> yeah, it's not gonna let me look at it any further. Okay, then. So, very clearly, the sheath is heavy. So someone must have grabbed the sheath and used it to hit her on the wrist, which ultimately broke her hand. Let's see what <laughs> everyone else has to say. Hey. Um. Yeah, so it looks like I don't want to talk to these peeps. Let's go ahead and head out. The first place I want to check... Um... So there's those guys. The first place I want to check is her room, obviously. Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Saika's name on it. Oh, that's a very valid point. Interesting. Huh? This is Saika's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplate on my room and Saika's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless? Why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates have been switched, meaning someone was watching them as they, uh... As they switched rooms, and or that's just the natural thing that the academy does in order to keep track of where the students are, maybe. Well, we'll grab the DVD. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Yep, the DVD with Saika's name on it. Saika got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Saika. I need to borrow this DVD. As for the bathroom... Uh, nothing here. Okay, then. So... Okay, yeah, so no, there's nothing. There's gonna be nothing in here, because obviously we spent the time in the room. Let's go ahead and leave, because we got our DVD. Obviously we can head to the AV room. The things have been switched. Um, oh, there's this guy, who I totally think he might have done it as well. So, why was Saika in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? N no, you've got it all wrong. Saika Sy and I switched rooms last night. Hmm. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Gah. The reason Saika was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms. She's dead because of me? Then it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. Th that's... That's really true, then I... I don't think... I know it's probably really difficult. Obviously, when you're a bystander and you're just looking at it from outside in, it's probably a lot easier to observe the fact that he's being... Someone's clearly trying to frame him at this point. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see if anything's changed with this. Nope. Yeah, no. So it doesn't look like that's changed. <clears throat> doesn't look like it'll let me open this. This is very clearly a trash disposal area. Oh! It's the end of the line! The trash room! This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, 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 no entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, 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 no entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? Oh, okay, that's all he's saying. Okay, this is stupid. It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. Okay, cleaning duty has been added to the truth bullets. So this is where all the trash in the school ends up. There was nothing of value in the, um... 
Laundry, let's talk to these people. Let's see what they have to say. Like... Something doesn't seem right. Monokuma file said Psycho was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. But could it be the nameplate? The nameplate. Huh. Okay. So now let's talk to Fatty over here. Um, I'm looking for Evers on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? Just so happens, Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone, or oh, without someone on cleaning duty, this school will be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, or oh, and since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. To do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. And we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and the only person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all the trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. In other words. Actually. Anyone who kills a fellow student until they are discovered, exactly. That's why I wanted to go in there. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. But boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, hey Fatty, why'd you want to want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. I, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You Liar, I know why you did it. Like you want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it. No what are you talking about? Isn't... All my love is for no 2D. Way. But there's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'd get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can cut accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. What? If you're as innocent as you claim, what's the harm in it? There's no... There's, that's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from past trauma or save a village or beat a boss. N no, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Oh, okay. So easy. So Ifumi and I headed to the trash room. This is exactly what I want. Someone clearly used Makoto's, um, lint roller. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Fumi pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to switch the f to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Perfect. This is precisely what I needed. Mr. Naegi. However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You, you fiend, you planned this all along. N no. I just want to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Oh my god. So, here we go. Something with blood on it, immediately. There's something on the ground from the incinerator. Looks like a burnt piece of something. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? God. <laughs> He's starting to get annoying. Anyway, this is... Looks like a piece of cloth, and the shape... It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. There are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Burnt shirt piece. Okay then, so there we go. Uh, what about inside of the incinerator itself? This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And, ah, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, it's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be in cleaning duty, so make sure you learn... You learn this before you leave, okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy? Ifumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? The fairy? No. You said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Ah, yes. About that, there can be no mistake. If I got one thing going for me, it's my memory. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. Definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate... It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. How is that possible? The incinerator has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Um... Hmm... 
Well, let's go ahead and turn it off if we can. The green button turns it on, the yellow button turns it off. Or so it seems, anyway. Okay. So there's that. Um, there's this broken glass as well. The shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like you see some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Okay. Yeah, is that... Do you know what it is? They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Um, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on a big city street corner. Gaze into it and it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on the quest to find that one guy. Hmm. Yeah. I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Shattered crystal ball. That's right. No one other than, uh, Oracle, dude. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. What does it all mean, Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out of his own comic book fantasies. Okay, then. Tell you guys what. I'll end it here for now, unfortunately. It looks like we found some quite critical things in terms of what's going on here. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure this out and give justice to Saika. Alright. Bye.